it's Isaac and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take care of Campanatus semestaceous. I think it's how you pronounce it. But so yeah let's jump into this care tutorial. So right here on the camera you can see uh, three workers and the queen of this uh, solid, uh, sorry, uh, Campanatus semi-distaceous, I think is how you pronounce it as well. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I have a cricket in the corner, just part of a cricket, that they've eaten part of it. And it's a complete test tube setup. I may have to change it soon. But yeah, so first thing we're gonna do is go into the diet. So, um, if they're small colony like this, then you can, uh, like, take the little wrapper off, or, like, cotton or whatever, and slide in, like I showed you, like a cricket, but probably not as much as I did, I'm just testing. So I just slid in a little cricket, and I watched the queen enjoy part of it, and, um, also, um, give them sugar water, um, I use that by just... Um, putting about three, um, like if I were to grab like a little butter knife, I would do about 10 scoops of cane sugar into a little cup like this. Just a simple cup. So I just do about just like, like 10 butter knife scoops in there and they'll love it. Like they love the, this, like the sugar water as you can see. It's in their stomachs, and the queen has it as well. That's why her stomach's so large. And so yeah, that kind of covers it for the diet. I mean, they also eat apples once they get once the colony gets larger. And these guys take a long time to, um, just like any other Campanata species, they take a long time to develop from egg to worker. It takes about two months from egg to worker. As you can see, there's a cocoon just right next to the cricket. It looks like it's almost ready to hatch because you can see the eye at the bottom of it. And then at the top, you can see the little black dot. That just basically means it's almost ready. But for like any other substrate um, and like things like that, you don't really need to move it like to move like the them out of their test tube until about um 50 to 100 workers which could take up to a year for you to get if you're a patient with your ants like these like these ones um you'll have a great time with them because it's really cool to watch them eat time flies by especially when you have other ant colonies like um, the Pogonomermix species, seen in here, you could see her in the back, or like my Formica species, where they unfortunately don't have a worker out right now, but there you could see some movement in there. No, but um, oh, there's a worker. But yeah, it, it's these little, like, times that you just have fun with your ants, like when you feed them or give them water and watch them drink. But these ants are very fun. I really like camp this Campanatus semi-cestaceous um, species. So, yeah. Let's go over the, let's, like, just do a run-through of the diet. Crickets, apple slices, and sugar water. But when you do happen to grow them larger, like into a larger colony and they no longer fit in a test tube like this, then uh, then you can probably move them into a smaller formicarium, which my plan is to move them into this Ants for All terrarium. That's my ultimate plan, just to get them in here. I really like it in here because of all of the area for housing and nesting. 
Sorry about that cutoff, though. I was, that was really bad. Nick, my nut. But also, um, I may move them. Like, after I move them in here, I'll connect a tube, like a vinyl tubing, and move them in here. Excuse the dirt. I need to clean this out very badly. And then, um, then if they grow larger, like, once you get your colony to about 100 workers, it's all downhill from there. That's where they take down the large crickets or roaches, like, and they eat. It's really cool to watch once they're at a large stage, like, in their life. And then, um, make sure they always have a water source, just so, like, they don't die, you know, because everything, every living thing needs water. So, make sure they have a constant water source. I plan on moving these guys out once this doesn't even like touch the cotton anymore. So uh, that's when I plan on uh, just putting them in a little um, tub, I guess, and then cleaning out the test tube, and then just sliding them back in this tube. Because I really like this tube. I don't know why. It's just like it's a good size for Campanatus. I would say it's about three to four inches long and about half an inch like tall so it's a good size tube for um, these large Campanata species. For the temperature for these guys I would do about 75 degrees to 80 degrees and minimum 65. You don't want to cook them, but you also don't want to freeze them. See, my room is about 70 degrees, but they're near a heat pad, so it may be about 75. So that's that's why I'm like, this is like, it's like a good temperature. I mean, sometimes, like, if I open my window, my room may drop to 65 degrees. But they, these guys will be able to, like, adapt to the temperature. I'm sorry about the background noise. We are watching the World Cup. So, and then for the hibernation, you need to put them in, like, slowly make their temperature cooler. If you have, like, a non-heated cupboard or shed, um, you would need to just gradually grow, go from the regular temperature you keep your ants in to just going slowly, maybe five degrees uh, like every three days, just drop down until about refrigerator temperature, which is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit and about 10 degrees Celsius. So, um, I don't have to hibernate mine because they were found in a local area for me, and also that's what the ant guy said. Uh, but I don't need a higher name like mine, but you will probably, wherever you are, you have, you'll probably have to hibernate yours. I don't, I mean, it, let's, like, you could just be safe. If you caught your ants, then you would probably want to hibernate them if you don't know um, what their behaviors are. So, um... Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Please subscribe and hit the little notification button. Electroluxter out.